It's good. <laughs> yeah. This place should do just fine. Thanks for setting up the console. I... <laughs> yeah. This place should do just fine. Thanks for setting up the console. I can work with this. This console looks pretty good. A little rusty in places, though. I guess you got these parts from a junkyard, huh? Resourceful. The scanner currently has a Model 38X2, which is built for scanning very specific locations. Not bad, but I would like to improve it. The year before I launched, the military was rolling out some scanner upgrades. One of those could give us more speed and detail in our scans. Can you find a scanner upgrade module for this? It would help us find so much more. And much more quickly. I don't suppose you can just swing by a tech supplies store, hmm? Yeah, I didn't think so. Last I knew, these types of things were common items in military bases and compounds. But my information is admittedly out of date. I'll transfer the coordinates to a local military base, but I can't vouch for its security status. It's hard to detect anything specific right now. The upgrade module should extend the range of the scanner in our console here rather substantially. I can then cross-check some of the USSA data that you gathered from my ship's console, which will help isolate specific useful signals. Swell. In the meantime, I'll fix up this console a bit. Did you know that it still uses the outdated P-14B configuration for its power chamber? I mean, I know you all survived the end of the world, but using this as is would be like living in squalor and the apocalypse. Listen, I know you've done a lot for me already. Got me out of that sunken bunker and let me stay here. It means a lot. You saw my wreck, didn't you? I don't know how else to prove it to you. You know, it's equally surprising to me that you've survived all of this. It's good that wonders never cease, right? It's hard. I don't know what to say. It's more than I ever expected could happen. This wasn't even in the realm of possibilities when I launched. But it could have been worse. I need to remember that. Copy. Over and out.
to forgive.
justice will be administered swiftly and fairly. Meantime, I found some sort of emergency supplies crate that must have splintered off while the ship broke apart. Might just be a crate of space food, but maybe it's got some emergency contact codes for the satellites. Heck, it could even be my personal crate full of my Unstoppables comics that I foolishly brought with me to space. Hey, I thought I'd have time. They let me take a crate of personal items. You weren't supposed to be in deep sleep the whole time, you know. Yes, but I'm not sure how accurate the data is, or if anything has scavenged it. It's hard to tell much more until I install the upgrade module. <laughs> I doubt it is. It probably all burned up on re-entry, sadly. I had a full collection. Ugh, 
Anyway, I'm sure it's astronaut food or something else that the USSA thought I might need. Just scrape that signal from the flight recorder. Should be enough to track down. Oh, did you want to talk about something else, though? Oddly, yes. I... I camped out here a few times while I was in graduate school with a good friend, uh, Emerson. Ah, oh, those were the days. We were in the same physics program at college and hit it off. It ended up not working out for us, but we remained friends, which was good because he joined the USSA towards the end of my astronaut training. Ugh. <laughs> that would have been awkward. <laughs> you know, it's rough. I. I can't put it any other way. <laughs> you know what I thought would happen when we landed? I thought there would be a parade. I thought maybe there would be a commemorative plaque. I sure as hell didn't think the world would have gone the way of the dodo. You know? I know this sounds odd, but uh, not much has changed for me. Not many new consoles have been invented since the, well, my time, I guess. The scanner upgrade has helped to compensate for the degradation that has occurred in the past years. I'm trying to modify it so I can use it for other stuff too. Maybe hijack the scanner so I can run a holotape game? Oof, that would be good. Oof. The headaches emerging from deep sleep are worse than they implied it would be. I don't know. I feel sudden spikes of pain at times, and it takes a while to subside. I'm dealing with it, but it's still happening. Affirmative. Out.
One this hunt doesn't even have emergency contact information in it. I never expected to use this. Clearly. Well, we can do this by ourselves, right? <sighs> Time to test this newly upgraded scanner out. This is a mobile campsite then. Hmm. Fascinating. Definitely useful. That upgrade module that you found seems to be functioning well after I installed it. We can now pick up more signals around Appalachia. I thought for the first one, I'd tried to focus on any USSA signals. And I found one to check out first. I found an old USSA beacon with a strong signal. It was activated here, after my ship launched. Which means it isn't from someone on my ship. It isn't one of my crew. The interesting thing is, this beacon should have lost power years ago, but it's still active. If you grab the beacon, I'm sure whoever is monitoring it will come looking. Let's make them find us. I'm not sure exactly, but I do know that my ship's autopilot took us here to Appalachia for a reason. Maybe this beacon was it. It has nearly full power right now. That can only mean someone is still out there replacing its power cell regularly. 
In the meantime, I'll cross-reference some data from the flight recorder and the scanner's readings. I need to find my crew, and I think I'm close. Remember, when you pick up the beacon, whatever you do, do not press any red buttons, do not ingest it, and do not sell it to communists. I think it helps with the side effects, but just not the major bursts of pain. I, I appreciate it, though. It helps me sleep better. Before we launched, I had a lot of anxiety. It made it hard for me to sleep, so I'd listen to ocean noises, whale singing. Always put me right out. The Stimpak does help. Not a ton, but it takes the edge off, at least. Thanks for asking, friend. Sure, of course. I guess this is all... ancient history now, I guess. Jeez. Including me? Well, we had a crew of four. All scientists and engineers. The plan was to use the deep sleep pods and record the biological data. We wanted to know if there were medical uses, you know? We had tried it out on Earth already with volunteers, but not in space. It wasn't that complicated. Honestly, I felt like we had the resources for a much more complex experiment. But I guess they wanted to take it slow. That's unexpectedly thoughtful of you. I was just thinking about an old holotape game that I used to play, but... Oh, well, they won't work on this console. Maybe I could adapt it, though. So, if you run across one later, can you let me know? I have so many questions. Just... How? Why? I was saying goodbye to everybody, and... They're really gone. I think I understand what has happened from stray broadcast to some degree. I guess... I guess it was war. And somehow... This is the world that survived. I, I can't even put all of... This into words right now. My memories of everything from before all of this are so... Fresh just below the surface. I was just there. Roger. Stay safe out there. If my crew is out there, I hope they found someone decent to take them in. <laughs>